Hi, my name is Maggie Langdon. I go to Folsom Lake College. I'm Dejan Rogers, and I go to American River College. I'm from way up the hill, from Placerville area. I kind of grew up in a very non-wealthy family. I'm from Sacramento, California. I have born and raised. I never thought that I could afford college. I would thought if I did want to go to college, student loans, being in debt for the rest of my life, and that's what really scared me. This year, we were evicted from our home, and so we were homeless for two week, about two weeks, end of February, early March. The challenge of being homeless and a student is that you only don't have a secure place to stay and really focus. You know, I went to Starbucks to do some homework. That was actually a lot more private than being in a hotel room with everybody there. Balancing the jobs and student life is a little difficult because you have to find that perfect job that is willing to work with you and your schedule without putting work over school. I work quite a bit, probably about 25 hours per week. On a normal day, I get up around 6 a.m. and work from 7.30 to 11, then catch the light rail, go into CRC, which took about an hour. Then I had a TV production class, and then I would take the light rail back to ARC for another class at 6, and I would go home. Being a part of the Promise program has really helped me because, first off, you have this group of really nice people, nice faculty that step you through everything. If you have a question, they're there to answer. It's not, oh, call back at this time. I'll get to you in three weeks. I was able to use that money that I got back from the program on that scary amount of books that I had. If I wanted my own books, whether it was used or new, it was well over like $600, $700. As a coming into college, just turned 18, just got a job, it was shocking, really shocking. If college was free, I have no doubt that less people would be willing to drop out, more people would want to stay because they don't have to worry as much about paying for college as a result. I believe other cities should do Promise programs or at least something like it to help other students in need, to help other students that can't pay for college, to let these students know that there is a future, that they can go to college. Investing in the community college is like investing in the entire city. More people getting degrees, find better jobs, and be able to work in more fields that they want. I would love to just tell every person that's been involved in this program, thank you for making schooling a whole lot easier for me. 